Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moshiks Main Friend channel. This is Moshiks. Today we're celebrating a, 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 quite a significant achievement uh, given the humble beginnings of this channel. We've uh, finally reached over a thousand subscribers. Uh, we're growing by leaps and bounds and uh, for me this is a uh, great confirmation that there is still a lot of people out there interested in what this thing is, this mainframe and what this mainframe operating systems are and what you can do with them and especially given that the main cohort of viewers on this channel are people aged uh, 24 to 20 to, uh, to 30 and uh, that, that shows that uh, young people are very curious about the mainframe and uh, and see what he can do and and I think uh, this is playing with the with the 24 bit the 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 ancient uh, mainframe operating systems which still exist today just in newer form is a great way to uh, learn about this great environment I and so thank you very much to all the community for being so active on uh, on the channel itself with comments and to with private emails with me and and uh, on on the Facebook page that we have Moshik's channel on Facebook and as well as on a chat uh, channel on Discord so very active I've also made a couple of new friendships with uh, people who originally whom I originally met through this channel and in fact uh, what we're going to look at today are games on the mainframe and we had the previous uh, version of this video uh, where we looked at uh, games for TSO on MVS 3.8 and we had a lot of fun on that and in fact it's it's one of the favorite videos in this channel for the community and today we're going to look at games for VM 370 um, as you may remember from the previous video on on this new VM 370 offering that I have on for free on the on the Moshix mainframe um, where you can just uh, go to this website uh, moshix.dainu.net and fill out the form and ask for a VM370 account um, so if you remember this was set up um, it's a joint effort between uh, Professor René Ferland in, uh, in Mont Montreal in Canada who is a very knowledgeable very patient very very helpful very kind uh, gentleman uh, who knows a lot about the mainframe and who's been really helpful to the community at large and, and uh, so he he um, and I've been working together on making our VM370 offering in the cloud ever more um, useful and and adding more and more features to this to this great operating system so today we're going to look at the lighter side of things to celebrate the reaching a thousand subscribers by looking at the games that we recently installed, uh, Professor René Forlan and, uh, and myself. Um, just here, maybe I'm gonna put in René, René Ferland, Montreal. I'm starting to have the same Canadian French accent that he has, uh, that's him. So him and I were working together on this, uh, on this system. Both of us are the admins or the system programmers for this offering and so recently installed a bunch of games that I received from somebody and uh, and we installed it here on the system so let's go look how to play it so if you have an account already you will point your browser as we said uh, your terminal T TN3 I used Vista TN3270 you point it to um, moshix.dinu.net at port 3280 and that's VM370 if you point it to 3270 that's uh, MBS with TSO and both this operating system is running on the same um, uh, Linux uh, virtual machine instance on the Google Cloud the smallest uh, Google Cloud instance you can get is uh, three and a half gigabyte of RAM each of each one of these operating systems only uses 16 megabytes of RAM so I could have probably another 50 or 60 of those running on that same machine that's how much progress we've made over the last 30 years since these operating systems were last running on real mainframes. By the way, uh, I was made aware that in at IBM Germany in Boblingen, at the at their at the lab in Boblingen, there are several vintage um, IBM mainframes 370s still running uh, with the with this operating system. So I was invited to go have a look at them. I will be going in the next couple of months and make a video. Once I'm there, I'm sure that the uh, it's going to be very interesting to see 
real mainframes, real iron from 35 years ago running real operating systems from 35 years ago. So let's, um, once you connect it, I log in with my user ID, of course, is uh, Moshix. So, um, okay, so we're in, in uh, this, on the Moshix mainframe. Uh, let's have a look, quick look around who else is logged in. So right now it seems it's only me. We already, I've already received about 10, 15 login uh, requests and I will be processing those. So we'll soon have, there's already like four or five additional users, but I think pretty soon in the next few days we'll have about 20 to 30 users on this, uh, on this mainframe. And uh, we have about 120 on the MBS uh, system. So um, what we did is we, we received a, a, an archive with about, uh, I want to say maybe 20 games or so, we'll find out soon, and uh, we installed it here in the system. So uh, re remember that to clear the screen, you have to pre press PA2, which I have configured here on my terminal emulator. And so we can use the list file command to have a quick dump on the screen of the contents of the T, T drive. So we store this in, if I do query disk, you'll see there's a T drive called game 191. And, and so um, before we go and look into that, just a, a quick way, a quick explanation. So in VM 370 or ZVM or VMESA, whatever version uh, it is you're running on your mainframe, uh, you can either have drives such as this one, mini, they're called mini disks, configured for your user, or um, or you could have service virtual machines, which are users or virtual machines where stuff is installed and then users can link into the drives of those users. So this will be an instance. There's a, there's a service virtual machine, which is never really interactively logged in. It's just the drives that belong to those virtual machines, the disks, and then everybody else can, um, can attach those, uh, that user's disk in read only, obviously, so that nobody can modify it. And then you can run whatever's on, um, you can see whatever files are there or execute if there are executables on that disk. And that's what uh, Rene Ferlon and myself did here. And um, so let's go have a look. List file, anything. So I remember this is any file name, any file type on drive T. And we start to see that we have a bunch of modules. Modules are like exe files on on Windows or binaries on Linux or object modules on uh, on MVS or ZOS. And we have a couple of games here. So we can either look at it with the list file command, which puts it just on the screen in list form. And we see here we have maybe, yeah, I wanna say maybe 20, 25 games. Uh, or we can do FS list. Oh. And then we can have it in full screen mode. Um, so we have about, yeah, maybe 25 games. We have Adventure, which is the text adventure. I think this was actually written originally in Fortran. Uh, we have an auction, Biorhythm, Blackjack, which I've used a little bit, Battleship, Checkers, which is I've also used, fun games, fun game, uh, Coffee, Couch, I don't know what that is, Football, Formula One, Hangman, Lunar Landing, oh yeah, we should have a look, and then all these other Star, Star Trek, Snake, uh, Tic Tac Toe. So, um, so this is all the games that are installed. Why don't we start maybe with Biorhythm? So, Biorhythm, and you put in your birthday, uh, your birth date. So let's let's say um, I, oh, the date is wrong. Okay, biorhythm. Oh, okay, so they want it in European format. Yeah. So we print out complaints about something here. Ronis Parm option has been ignored, but it does actually print it out. So my biorhythm cycle values are physical 81 down, 81 down, 
so sensitivity is down physical is down <laughs> intellectual is up so at least something is going up and um, so that's one game you can play with uh, what else did we have blackjack so let's play blackjack blackjack now I can write blackjack this way and will still execute why because the K is not really there but it ignores it so welcome to the SDC Sahara Casino you deliver for blackjack with Roberto Lewis do you want me to review the rules no I know the rules place your bet uh, $500 Okay, wise guy, minimum bet is $1, maximum bet is $15. Place your bet, please. Okay, $10. You have 7. And king. I'm showing a 6. Do you want to hit? No. My whole card is jack. Now we'll draw 3. You handle 17. I have 19. I lost. Play again. Yes. You bet, please. $10. I have a 7. I'm showing a queen. Do you want to hit? Yes. Uh, do you want to hit? No. My whole card is 10. You total. Ah, I lost again. So let's play again. You bet, please. $10. Showing a jack. Do you want to hit? Yes. I have 7 and ace. I lost again. Ugh. Yeah, I need to be more aggressive in this game. Do you want to play again? No. Okay. I'm not really good at... Uh, some people are just born quitters. <laughs> Thank you. So, what else do we have? Checkers. Um, Hangman. Lunar. Let's play Lunar. Control calling lunar module, calling lunar one. You may set the fuel rate to zero. Only better value between eight and 200 pounds per second. Abort will abort the landing. You have 16,000 pounds of fuel. Capsule weight is 32,000 fueled. Uh, this is complicated. First ready check, I mean, begin landing procedure. Time, second. Okay. So. Trying to slow down. Okay, let's see if I can. Fuel out at 135 seconds on the moon at pack velocity 500 miles per hour. No survivors. New crater named Lunar Land 1 <laughs> is 139 feet deep. So I crashed. No good with this games. And so we check this one out. What else is there? Um, snake. Let's check out Snake. happening okay so here is a game that I don't understand what it does so how do you stop any program that's running in VM37 you can do hold execution H HX and this will be passed eventually um, so in this case I don't know why it's not working. Usually HX will stop execution. Not in this case. So Okay, so once we get it back into CP, you saw that for a second that was back into CP by pressing PA1, then I should be yeah. I should be back in business. Yes, so I got out of it. Um, then tic tac toe. Let's tick -ta tic toe. Okay. 
This program plays tic tac toes, move, moves around with one, one, uh, one, two, three, okay. If you want to wish to give up and start a new game, press as you move. Do you want zeros or X? I want X. So, do you wish to go first? Yes. Where's your first move? So, we'll do five. And. Then four. And. Then I'll do. Um, what was it? Two. And. Then I'll do. Well. Mm, nine. And now it's up to me, so we'll do, what was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, eight, seven. Is a draw, okay. So as predictable, and um, here's a little bit of program execution time, uh, issues. I think this was written routine code. Yeah, this looks like this was written in, in uh, Fortran, and there's a little bit of, of an issue ending the program, but the program runs fine. So uh, this is just a small list of programs uh, that we can play with. Again, uh, it's on Drive T with Formula One, Hangman, I played a little bit, Coffee, this is all fun games. Um, and uh, again, this is just a way for people to uh, be on the system and, and do something fun with VM370. Now, if you want to do something more serious, obviously we have a bunch of for, of, uh, of uh, compilers installed, we have uh, PL, PL1 installed, we have Pascal installed, uh, we have the fourth interpreter installed, Um, then we have a bunch of other stuff installed, other compilers which we described in the previous video. Um, I will also urge you to um, have a look around maybe uh, drive Z or Z, depending where you've come from. I say Z. Uh, that's another interesting drive here, another in interesting disk. And um, don't forget, if you see other users online, you can send them a message saying, message um, operator, what's up, you? And now the operator got this message. Um, so uh, this is the lighter side of VM370. We will, um, one thing that we're working on, Professor René Ferlon and myself, is he is uh, making a couple of guest videos uh, about the use of VM370, adv more advanced topics. I myself am really uh, fairly new to VM370. I've only played with it the last three, four years, and I've only really used VM370 to launch virtual machines with uh, with guest virtual machines such as MVS and and other guest operating systems. So I, on the interactive side, I don't have as much experience as he does. Um, and so he's going to make a, a couple of videos. He promised. It's, we'll see if they're really, if he finds the time to do it. But he, he wants to do it about the use of of uh, VM three seventy more advanced uses. And then we'll we'll take those videos and we put them into the same Moshix channel where you're at right now. And uh, we'll all learn more advanced topics of VM three seventy, which of course also equally apply to VM ESA or ZVM, whatever it is that you're running on your iron. So um, this is it. Again, uh, I want to thank uh, the community at large for being such an enthusiastic bunch of, uh, of uh, nice people for subscribing to the Moshix mainframe channel. And we've achieved a significant milestone with uh, over a thousand subscribers now. And we'll see where this goes in the future. Uh, right now, I don't see, I don't see any limit to how much more growth we can have in this uh, wonderful community. Thank you all for everything. If you like this particular video, please press on the thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed to the Moshix mainframe channel now, like all the other over a thousand people, then I would urge you to do so now and see you soon back again on this channel. Goodbye.